and Michigan right next door. And interestingly, the people who said that the economy and jobs were their number one issue, they voted for me overwhelmingly. And that's one of the reasons I'm running. I'm very concerned, as Ann said, about jobs, getting our economy going again. And I'm concerned about kids and making sure our kids aren't burdened with extraordinary debts and a, and a weak economy. This president has made some promises he hasn't been able to keep. He told us that he'd cut the deficit in half. He's doubled it. He said that if we let him borrow $787 billion, he'd get unemployment to stay below 8%. It went past 8%, has never been below since. That's 36 months ago. He also said, by the way, he'd, he'd secure Medicare and Social Security, that they were going to be insolvent, he'd fix them. He has not offered one serious idea to get those programs solved. It's amazing that he has been such a failure. He's out of ideas, he's out of excuses, and in 2012, we're gonna make sure he's out of office. <laughs> now, where, where we would take the country is in very different places. This president is willing to have trillion dollar deficits every year, four years with trillion dollar deficits. If he had another four years, you know we're going to see more trillion dollar deficits. Even as you recognize that we're at some point going to hit the kind of wall they hit in Greece, in Italy, in Spain, and France. We simply can't go there. If I'm the President of the United States, I'm going to eliminate some government programs. I'm going to cut back on government programs. <laughs> but, by, the, by the way, my, my test is pretty simple. I'm going to look at all the programs we have and say this. Is this program so critical, it's worth borrowing money from China to pay for it? And if it doesn't pass that test, I'm getting rid of it. And number one on the list, Obamacare. We're gonna get rid of Obamacare on day one. And, and then I'm gonna send some programs back to states. I happen to believe that in a lot of cases, we go back to the Constitution as our blueprint and we're a lot better off. So programs, for instance, like our housing vouchers and our food stamps and, and, uh, and Medicaid, our health care programs for the poor, let's take those dollars, send them back to Ohio, let Ohio decide what's right for the people of Ohio instead of the federal government mandating how Ohio has to care for its own poor. Let's get those programs back to states. We can keep their costs down. They'll be more efficient, more effective. How, let me tell you about one of the government programs that I find interesting, job training. We need good job training programs because our economy changes so fast. We need people to get the new skills for new jobs. Do you know how many federal job training programs there are? 47. 47 programs reporting to eight different agencies. Bureaucracy on bureaucracy. I want to get rid of all those programs, take those dollars, send them back to Ohio and every state and say, you have your own program for your own job training efforts. This is time to get Washington out of our hair and let states take responsibility for their own citizens.